Um, let's go. So look, we're going to start off talking about Dilit. We know that Xerxes is in Manchester at the moment. He's about to do his medical. In fact, he may well have done his medical by now. Will Man United get that officially announced today with the shirt and everything? We'll discuss that. I think there is a theory that it could happen. There is also a theory it could happen on Monday. But let's talk about the latest around who could be coming in next, because I think that has got quite a big impact on how quickly Manchester United will want to move on Xerxes if they want to move on to something else and be doing other medicals. So this is the latest from the mouth of Fabrizio Romano. He says, we expect Delit to be the next signing for Manchester United. There is an agreement between Delit and United on a five-year deal. Negotiations are ongoing with Bayern around a 50 million euro package. United want to use add-ons as part of the deal structure. United are prepared to complete this deal, Delit is the big candidate to be the next signing. So could we get that done um, today? Well, look, I think the way Man United are working and operating at the moment, um, I think we're on schedule. I think maybe two days ago when we hadn't announced Xerxes, there was a bit of, you know, discontent about we've not done any deals yet, but suddenly... Xerxes is having his medical, it's deal done, it's here we go, we just want the quotes and the shirt to be held up and he goes on holiday and he'll be on holiday by tomorrow uh, and then you're on to the next one and maybe De Litt wants to go on holiday as well and then you've got two in the bag and then you're looking at three and then you're looking at four and you've not even gone on tour and you're going, you know what, if we've got four players in by the time we go on tour to America, you've got five weeks left of the summer transfer window to get in two or three more players and clear out the shit. And we'd be in a great position. So I think we're on track at the moment. I think there's a there's a lot to be encouraged by. I do take on board that, you know, Xerxes could flop. I said that yesterday. Delit could flop. Agate, if he comes in, could flop. But you've got to make the right intentions. And I'm, I, I've got to say, I, 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 I don't want to rank signings, but I'm, I'm so in on the Delit deal now. I mean, I really do want this to happen. Um, I think with Xerxes, it became very obvious that that deal was going to happen. I still do worry about the Delit deal. Um, I still I still do feel like there is the potential for something just to swerve towards the end at some point. And, and, and I don't want that to happen. I, I just want to get it done. I want to get it over the line. Uh, I certainly don't think that it was... Um, I, I don't think it was a, you know, a deal that I was thinking we would do. However... I think that, you know, Eric Ten Hag's always going to want De Litt, uh, having worked with him at Ajax, the Dutch connection, we, we know about that. But the fact that, you know, Ineos and their team have said that De Litt's the right player, um, just, you know, that, that's, that, that'll do for me. I mean, look, we're always going to have our opinion, aren't we? As fans, we will always have our opinion. And I would not have put De Litt in my top five options for Man United back in February or March, but... This is what you want your football club to do. And this used to happen when we were competent. I think for the last few years as fans, we've had to find the solution. We should be buying this player. We should be selling that player. And it's actually quite nice because we'll continue doing that. But it's actually quite nice when you've got a football club that ha portrays some level of confidence that you sort of go, well, I wouldn't have gone for De Litt. I don't know why we're going for De Litt. And then you think it through and you go, I, I actually quite like this deal. And, and I, that's, where, that's how I feel about De Litt. There's no doubt he's a good player. But he would not have been a player I was going back in February, March. We need to go and sign Delit from Bayern Munich. But now that that's the deal and that's the play that Ineos and Ten Hag are playing, I'm looking at it and I'm going, I'm quite intrigued by this. What do they know about this deal that we weren't thinking about this back in January, February and March? You know, we were talking about Tadebos and Branthwaite and Bramers and, and, and other people. What is it about Delit that Ineos have looked at with their specialisms of, you know, Berada and Wilcox, etc. And, and they've gone, yeah, this guy who was brilliant, as a teenager at Ajax, went to Juventus, did okay, went to Bayern, did okay, but has ultimately left those clubs quite quickly. What is it about him at 24, 25 that makes him a player for Manchester United that's going to make us go to another level? And I'm intrigued to see all that because there are concerns about potential injuries. There are concerns about why, if he was so good, did he leave Juventus? And why, if he's so good, does he leave Bayern Munich? Um, but on the other hand, it's a little bit like somebody looking at something and going, they're not using it properly. We can really do something here. I mean, look, he needs to be starting for the Dutch. He needs to be one of the top five centre-backs in the world. That's what you need to do if you're going to spend the money we're going to spend on him. But I'm excited about it. You know, I feel that a lot of the players that we're looking at, and it's the same with, with Xerxes, and I don't know what you think, but it, but it's like a it's like project. I think project footballers. And this started with Rasmus. 
um, and Martinez to a certain extent, project players that maybe the media, maybe maybe external, maybe you know people who don't want to get on board, they look at it and go, what's that all about? What's that all about? But you know, I've always liked United buying project players, whether it's Ronaldo. And I mean, look, Rooney was very expensive, but he's still a project player. He's a, he's a teenager, you know, bringing the likes of Beckham through, you know, taking Cantona from Leeds, you know, projects, different types of projects. And I think we're looking at project players. We're looking at potential. We're looking at improvement. Um, I mean, Delitz not potential at 24, 25, but he, he is he is a project. There's more you can get out of that. And I think that is something we've got to do it. We don't have infinite budgets. You know, I think if we did have what Man City have got over the last 10 years, maybe we'd be looking at other players. But look, I'm excited. I'm realistic. And, and I really do want to get that deal done. So if, if as Fabrizio says, it's likely our next signing announcement is going to be delit, I would like to get that done today. I would like to be here we go today or tomorrow because... You know, Xerxes is off on holiday now after today and Delit needs a holiday. So is he going to do his medical before he goes on holiday? That would be great. Uh, Patrick Lynch says, deal, it, deal shows that United scouting and transfer policy is one that's something that isn't predictable anymore. Previously would have known with months who are we, who we're getting. And I love that, Patrick, because who's the left back we're getting? Get in the chat. If someone tells me the left back we're getting, fair play. Just give me the lit. Sean Paul voice, says KD Benz. Um, also, morning, Mark. Regarding Yoro, we had this with Benzema. We bid 25 million to Lille and got accepted, but he chose Madrid. Do you think history repeats itself? Well, I've got an update on Yoro. We'll talk about that in a moment. When will Barada start, says Ahmed. I think I heard that Barada starts mid-July. So that would be Monday, surely. Um but I, I don't know whether... I think Barad has been working in the background anyway because there was those leaks of the uh, emails, wasn't there? Goal Bridge, that's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact, smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.